tests, how the water being tested by people in Nyambuanzi. Not only Nyambuanzi, but also in West Africa, in Ghana, how a content creator has come with a very trick announcement and many people felt trapped without realize. But the big disappointment is when this gentleman goes off talking the real, what is behind the title, something else appear is what the negative reactors never talk, never touch or accuse him of wrong in doings. Here is a case. But anyway, let's talk about how a content creator has managed to conceal something from the public for such long time and managed to drive people to the edge and create a new channels and recruiters to the YouTube, positive and negative. That is amazing. It's amazing, disappear from the scenes and all of a come with something that nobody expect. Well, many of you have been saying, oh, we want this, we want that. Why not this? Why not that? Well, welcome to the madness of the cow, the mad cow disease in East Africa content creation in West Africa. Have the time and ask me about it. Does Brother Maya have a need to quit YouTube? No. Well, many of you got trapped when he made that video and say, I'm quitting YouTube. I've been saying here for quite long that I've been a fan, sorry, I've been a fan of Brother Maya for quite long. But since Brother Maya got involved with Mrs. Trudy, I lost interest completely in watching him because he became a gossip man. In the beginning, I thought, well, just as a change in his life, he's a young lad, uh, love drives him crazy, maybe will change along the way. I give him a doubt of my mind. But when the peak, Ivan Toros, came to visit him and uh, he got caught big time gossip, I lost interest complete. Sometimes even I don't bother watching his videos if I'm not cross-referenced by the audience. From, this is one of the things I have learned all these years in YouTube. Don't just see a video and jump in. No, just let the audience cross-reference, talk about, and then you watch because there will be something you will hear from somewhere, somehow, and then you like it and you there is curiosity and you watch. That what how I discovered the kings. Uh, life League with the Kings was by cross reference. This is one of the things most of you out there when you see a new channel or something happening, uh, it's good to always see it if there is a cross reference. What do I mean cross reference? Cross reference is people commenting or people talking about friends and other acquaintances. So I didn't watch the video. I'm not going to watch the video because I knew when I saw the video of Mrs. Trudy, when say, baby, why? That for me was enough because I saw this was a trap, was a work it out uh, between him and Mrs. Trudy to make that video exploded. So behind that video was not about quitting YouTube, was about something else. Something else that is nothing related. Indeed, and things came up so quick and fast, is a charity fund. It's a charity fund is for a man that always has put himself forward for good causes and nobody's pointed to the wrongdoings of all the funds you have been collecting. I'll leave to you, up to you to judge, whatever, if you want to watch. But for me, personal, and my point of view, is a very wrong strategy because that title 
one day he will need it and people that follow him they will come and say oh again here we have a trap and this will be very disgusting i'm very sorry to say that it is painful to see somebody with a good name like guademaya do videos like this and once again you ask yourself he done a video a while ago in malawi another uganda or somewhere else in africa about this orphan child child what happened there we never heard about so there is something you need to understand about guademaya is honest or not well the involvement of politicians on his life may become part of the new narrative of what am I? Politicians are big liars. Politicians never say nothing positive that changes the course of people's life, except if the private sector invests and uh, say, my government done that. This is the truth. You can see in many occasions what happened in your lifetime. That was very discussed and uh, me just is my opinion and uh, you say whatever you have say comment it on you might say oh i'm jealous of you i'm not jealous of any content creator i'm proud of content creator since you're an african i'm very proud doesn't matter what you do what you don't do it but when you become stupid or when you become too much nonsense i have to say the truth Sometimes it's very painful and people, they don't like it. You see, reactors, negative reactors, their growth on the internet is very small and, and very slow and painful. And that drives them, really hurts them. When they see the, on the 26th of every month, the paycheck they get from YouTube is not what they expect. Their expectations, their ego is more, more, more. It's like a drug drug addiction compare the real content creators where the expectations is not about the paycheck is about the subscribers is about the viewers because they got the point where they realize the fluctuation of their income varies depends moment time year and content and that is great many people they don't think about well why i say that well, I have seen uh, Lil's life expert. I have seen Russell travel with Russell. I saw cats, uh, Kurtz cats from South Africa, uh, Ayamarwa, and others. And others out there, their lifestyles, how they live. You see them in summertime, they go and spend this amount of money, winter time, autumn. They come, they're more quiet, and so and then they live in a very humble uh, lifestyle. Only they come out on the occasions there is a boom out there. You will say, oh, look at this, what uh, this guy done, build a big house. Look at that. Yes, those are revenues they have collected many, many years. They are not revenues that have been done in one day. That was the younger, the new YouTubers making mistake. Look to find Ian. If you look, find Ian, you, this YouTuber from Kenya, uh, you're gonna find something quite curious. It creates very interesting thumbnails, but when you watch the videos, you not find nothing interest. So, what it tells you, you say. But with the negative reactors, is about their growth. The negative growth is not huge. And the paychecks are not huge by not be huge the negative reactors they have this unstable and more unstable and emotional attachment to everything they do but what is behind them is all bunch of lies every single day they come with the lies unfortunately those who watch them i wish them all the best congratulate them and wish them the best is 
every single lie, those, those negative writers say every single day, nothing's realized. That is the, the worst nightmare when you watch reactors and they start wondering about A, B, C, D and uh, next day you, the same person watch them, go back again and there is no continuation of A, B, C, D. The continuation is new lie and then you become a liar too and the support of the lie. That is the truth. So, what I'm trying to say here, what I'm trying to say here is the explosion of this negative reaction of a sadly and content creation special from the East Africa, Kenya. Uh, of a sadly, we saw new channels popping and uh, also we saw people have their own opinion positively towards other influences but the question is yes why do you come now not before have you discovered youtube today well there is something interesting is not because they find youtube today they didn't have vision and wisdom to understand what they've been watching because many of people, many of viewers, subscribers and whatever out there, they are very weak in terms of intellectual capacity, means education, basic education to understand uh, certain words of the vocabulary and also to understand what is happening around themselves. This is humanity we'll find all those deficiencies around the world. But why in Africa becomes a disease that I'm um, labor as a mad cow disease? Indeed, in Africa, we have something different here. We are talking about something very gray and dark. When somebody managed to conceal something quite long being a public figure is amazing it is amazing it is amazing and uh, also shows you how that person is have a capability and knowledge and wisdom vision of creating content so we Africans when we oversightly find ourselves on cross paths of many things, we, we don't know how to capture the moment and understand the moment. Here, I'm going back to, always to the same point, to this remote village in Africa called Nyambuans, that is a border between seats, between Kenya and Tanzania, somewhere around there, but it's more and more in Kenya territory where a young man that used to look after goats became very famous after left the village, went to university, worked in a bank, sell shoes in the street, and one day find himself in Colombia teaching English for a charity organization called Federico Mara, created a brand, a YouTube brand called uh, I Am Mara. Indeed. I am Mara. I am Mara most recently uh, take holidays, very long holidays, after eight years on the road, traveling around the world as an African solo traveler. Many called him a commando. And has met different people, different people. People been supporting big time. People they have invited him to his day houses, uh, countries, and even people pay for him to visit to those countries and support his visa application to go to almost 70 countries around the world. What is amazing here is on all these journeys, he have met different people and ladies 
and he's been in love and then he broke some hearts and sometimes even what happened to a young man go to extremes that drove people to a certain point yes indeed people to a certain point why is too wild is too open is too honest is a man that see youtube as his own blood his own way of thinking of expressing that is great become unique but is that unique that make this influencer something else to another level now that is on the ages of 30s and above has come to a point where he realize he need to define his life to a new level and that why invited this argentinian girl that he met in mexico not what the others say he met in argentina no they met in mexico to come his partner and she join him in his villa in Yamboanz. Many things happen here, many things, things that to explain in few words are not easy. Only watch all these uh, videos that have been coming out from him, from her, you could have an idea in a sense what the reality happened in the last six months. But what is amazing here? What did the thing make this so interesting? Why we have to talk about this influencer? Well, here's the thing. She is considered in our African mentality, in our gray area, in our dark mentality, that the intellectual thing that we have, we see her as a Muzungu because she is different in terms of race. So, because of that mentality that the colonizer has put in many areas of our society that the Muzungus are superior compared to ourselves she has enjoyed some certain privileges that she called blessings because she never thought be a different in a society you could be blessed so much so much above the water and this is something unique on youtube where we find ourselves in this situation but if you watch lily expat or lily's life in thailand this american expat living in thailand and married to a thailand person you're gonna see some similarities with the situation that rosio encounter in number one's village <clears throat> and that is very interesting in particular the lifestyle and uh, how she became a driven force of a family or a man in research of a family a man that went out there and said me i need to get a woman that gonna have a child but a woman that can give my child a strong passport and my child in the future does not face the circumstances I'm facing today travel around the world and seen by other people and this is where this thing comes how they manage to keep a secret and how that secret has been bite back by the negative reactors wait let's go on a break i am most if you are new here welcome i'm here to help you and you help me to enjoy the day the announcement of Rosie that she's pregnant really have a trend a huge trend here something unique and something very very amazing the way they kept the secret let's take this thing one by one step by step first while wow, this news been broken in the 
what happened, the antecedents. If you ever watched the video where a CEO announced to the world a new status that is mother to be, you might fell yourself, fell in your back, or say, what the hell is this? First, in one picture, there is a thousand of words, a million of words, and this is what is most important in content creation, is what then the background look like when we say things and we announce situations and events. That is the first. Second is how the announcement went through in both families. And third, with those who live with around themselves. Is the third that is quite and most interested. We're gonna start from three to one <laughs> in these comments. Is the announcement to those people work and share good time and moments with Ayamaro Avila? Being told that she is expecting a baby. And how those people have kept themselves quiet. There is two things here. And then I'm quite sure that are negative reactors, <laughs> they will come with their own theory what in reality is going to be lies, 100% lies. I just advise to you, it's just wasting your time. Is you giving opportunity of them make another dollar, another cent for telling something unuseful. You might have going to come here. They've been paid. They've been threatened. They've been told, uh, you're gonna name it and mention a lot of things. But also, how loyal those are. Remember the negative reactors always thought they have the upper hand. They could disclose anything. The most hidden secret of this couple. And here is a proof once again, how this med cow disease that has been spread over by this guy called himself Nairob Chicha. He thought he was the strategy or the strategist of the stabilizer factor and content creator in this particular family and young ones. Here is once again something new, something unique. How this happened in Africa, where there is this gray and dark mentality? How? How Ayamara managed to convince these people not to spell it the beans? It's quite interesting here. Here's a, something unique people they are not seeing. It's impossible. I tell you, I had my own experiences. There is no way in Africa you mobilize 10, 20 different minds sit with them and say, look, this is a secret, don't go out there and don't say it. It's very, very, very difficult. But I'm quite surprised. Different people with different minds, different combinations and settings, social settings, manage to keep this. Anyway, may have a reward, probably, or may felt if I open my mouth, I'll derail my future. Probably this is possible. Anyway, is the appreciation of Rocio towards these people. Now she knows who to count on the villa. I'll be honest, 
like Mogesi, the guy who looks after the horses, will be one person to be trusted so much, so much for the love and, and care of those animals. The house manager not will be house manager from now on, will be also a friend, a confidence to talk. Furthermore, is Giti Riba and Ginto. Always I say it here that Giti Riba, if you want to know anything what is going on there, watch Giti Riba and Ginto. None of them came and brought this news. This is quite interesting. So, by not breaking this news, this shows you once again, you're wasting your time. Listen, I am Carol on Trending and others out there. You're investing in the wrong team. Your time and uh, more, whatever, whenever you, you think. But what was amazing on this announcement is not only this video was recorded at Villa Medley, was two things that happened in that Villa Medley for first time and it becomes history for number ones. First of all, is how Congrat Moms came aware. If you look, she had that plaster at the time. So it tells you, if you've been watching this content, it tells you this thing has been concealed for a amount of weeks and time. And those who've been saying here that Ayamara left the village under pressure and vicious and ruthless uh, wishes of uh, Rocio to leave the villa, get out of there because she had enough of eating Ugali and other things, now is a proof for you to spend your time and watch a content create a negative reactors. You miss something very interesting. And now it's time for you to consider yourself how your mental health and sanity is important. Those are just, you fed them with your watching hours and support the evils, real evils. Like the young man made the statement that everything that Mara is doing is because of you. Buying horses, not uh, respecting the villagers, and not consider others and uh, is too old and now is submitted to her and she is the one rules him the way he does things you fail so this is a message that the med cause disease it is indeed a disease of human that they don't know the truth of a reality. By doing this announcement, she broke the molds of YouTube. How she broke this mold? Well, she once again brought something really here where you have to start to question yourself. It is worth it, follow negative reactors. Well, it's your choice, not mine. I have done my choice, I don't watch. If I know anything, it's better, it's what I say earlier here, on cross the reference dialogues from different sources, that I'm come aware of the madness, like what on trend they say last night, that people say, oh, Rocio is gonna be, uh, bring up this kid on your own out there you come to that point if 
Did you watch last night the life of the positive reactors that I also was there? Did you hear that conversation? If not, please go to Zach channel and look for it, that life and try to listen how things look and sound from now on. So, here, what has become unique and the game changer is what on trend and didn't understand because she can't understand Spanish. And I'm glad how ignorant on trending is. Once again, that life that on trend done, you guys watch. I saw a fragment, just a very few small fragment. I don't know what else she has said, but from what I pick in that fragment, is something very sinister and sick. How a woman that's ever a young daughter can react to that point. So when a daughter comes to the stage to mother to be, will she be happy that some people or us come out and the zona and treated daughter like a pig? Indeed, like a pig that I felt she is not a human. I felt from that small fragment, that small statement, these women, they don't deserve to be treated with respect at the minimum. Even they twist everything just for the God's sake of ever living. Put a bread and butter on the tables. It's fine with me, but not to the point, the lower point of not show the integrity and the morals as a mother. It is important for a woman to show some degree of value to other women. The words con congratulations with exclamations is an insult because you have a doubt. You think the person is playing. And there you go. She was not playing because you didn't understood the Spanish. When the parents of, of Rocio, when Rocio called the parents, what the parents are saying, because she put them guess, they wonder what is going on, what happened, because shows the love the mother and the father for Rocio. They had a lot of expectations. And you guys, I have to remind you, the Spanish talk in Spain and other countries in, in the most countries in Latin America, there is words that sound different. And the Argentinian Spanish are more closer to Portuguese. And for me, Portuguese and Italian. And as a man that speak those languages, I could feel and understood how that hanging bubble on the mother and the father of Rocio was so positive. Especially when the father say, today I picked up that envelope with those numbers and then disclose the number 15. Can say there is where you didn't understood the trick of happiness. When she calls Ayamara say Mara comes and Mara missed few words of Spanish and ask her, did you say it already? And she says, no. Those who are behind those lines, 
they realize they will be a grandfathers. And that number 15 on that envelope was the lucky number. Take number 15 grandson. So how dare, how stupid you come here and put the doubts in your mind when people share these unique moments that you, you as you, as a reactor, negative reactor, not able to share with others in life. Also, there was something unique here is the ability of speaking and understand the Spanish of Ayamaro. The respect, the degree of words Ayamaro used towards those parents. Very humble words, full of love, respect. Some of you might be saying, oh, they are not married, they are not this. It's not about marriage. These days is not about marriage. These days is about love, respect. Weddings and parties coming after is how she felt and how she felt. And the most beautiful thing here is when she announced to those who are there in the villa, not when she announced to her parents, is the words of Giti Riba. To hear those words from the Mount of Giti Riba, to hear those words from the Jamaican uncle and the reaction of the house manager. If you, because most of you, when you watch these things, you don't look what's happening. You just listen. You lose a lot of things here. And these were the people with the medical disease lost the very important clues. And those, most of those clues are in that call between Rocio and her parents. Not in any moment in time, none of them had a negative reaction. Where is Congrat dead? Where is the reaction of Dim Wango, Davy, and others? Well, there is history here. The man himself, the influencer, this goat boy, have a very clear understanding of his family relationships, and he has discussing land here on the YouTube, even five weeks and a life that he preferred his life away from many others people he doesn't like his life be the talking town or the talking family he doesn't like this family imbroglios misunderstood and miss wanted that I come to the first point and the last point the announcement when was done to congressman and the way our congressman reacted she was close when she was given the present She was close. She had that feeling, that intuition. Something positive is coming. But there is a clue that many of you don't see it. And that is the grace of God. This whole story of Congrats mom broke your hand. Not being a house, be it a Ayamara, 
be looked at the Ayamara, be carried at the Ayamara. There are so many things in that story that you just didn't pay attention. And one of the things is that Rocio has been there permanent and constantly on his side. And most of the decisions and the worries of Congrats mom on the past when Rocio was not there is the same that Rocio had that what one of the videos when that an employee gentleman Mr <laughs> Price that saw those thousand dollars and five hundred dollars been flash and uh, here drop everything and run to William and Lee for Ayamara to give him something. Those two friends, the gentleman with problems on the eyes and that guy that my you gonna say, two phones, dressing with the, the best jacket cost more than 100,000, good shoes and come here and ask for support. And behave the way he was behaving. Anyway, so if you've seen all this and then your memory or your mind didn't capture, there is something here quite interesting. Is how Hayamara capture the picture when they walk in that room, Aaron's room. Days, how Rocio walks toward to the mother-in-law and how the mother-in-law looks to Rocio. Peace, quiet and happy because she doesn't need no longer worry about the son. She knows that Rocio looks after him. All the deeds now is on the Rocio's end. They will be looked after. But was that feeling that that woman have, that way of how she looks, typical of our mothers. My mother used to be like that. If you are an African, you know how the, our mothers look. The African women, they know, look like the others from Asia, Europe, no. When you go to them, you want to address to them, there is those nostalgia, look, those uh, face expressions that you can't even read it with happiness, pain, desperation, no, it's just, it is what the God has given to them. The only thing you can read is the eyes, if they are looking to the left or to the right, but nothing else. Is in that point when Rocio sat and kept that back, where the facials of Congratma changed it. If you didn't see, go back to that video. For first time, was once that the facials changed. That was when she done a video with Joyce's diary and the outside of her house, Congrats mom's house. I still remember that video where you see how a woman laugh and how a woman is happy to talk to another woman on the same level, on the same path. When she say, you're my friend, you're welcome. But we'll come to that point. So if you watch that video and see that moment captured, 
and see the scene of this video where she pick up the present and looks, looks and try to understand and figure out what is this? Is a wedding card? Yes, indeed. To figure, out, to figure out what was the message of the package and she thinks something else positive maybe it's a wedding invitation or just another present but when what is the ear interest is when she opened the bag and take it the present and she say to them, no, I'll open myself. And I am going to say, my mom will find that one way. And she find it. But on inside there, and that present moment was full of happiness. It's the first time you see the board language of Congress mom in an other level, completely, in a very high level, compared to even the day Dimwango uh, was they offered that lunch to the brother and the sister-in-law and the family and others when Ayamara asked the mother about the situation why they never came to the party that is, is that facial expression in this particular moment in time is three times of that happiness that laughing three times but there is a point when she opened the present and she saw that when the eye contact with the socks, those small socks, is when you caught in the side of the face of the eye. She went like, finally, we did finally and that was the most brilliant thing to see in that video so what this brings now this brings something here that many people start to talk in particular the cows all these cows they're sick they're starting to see these in different levels. But none of these people out there, even maybe you, don't stop and ask yourself, how these things been managed so well, so well, been choreographed to this stage? Well, there is only one person here who can do this thing better in such a way, in a magic way. Even I ask sometimes, now we have this new stage of content creation here on this particular influencer. Is the end of career or we gonna have a, a reality show? Well, this shows you how good is Ayamaro. How Ayamaro can control an environment where so many people have a guess how these things can happen and how these things could not happen. So the last three days that we didn't see Ayamaro and Rocio on YouTube, everybody been like going, what's going on, what's going on, what's happening? It's been reaffirmed here. Two things. The incident in Nairobi was a turning point, was a scary point. What happened? Ayamaro got scary 
of his emotional status. That's why they didn't come out. He went to took care of her. Make checks. That's what those three days. Many of us we don't see any content for him now. He took his beloved wife and partner to a comfort and make it a feel a knowledge that is no longer him alone. No, it's him, her, and the future baby. That was the reason the cameras went off. The cameras turned on after the show that everything was okay. That's why some of you are going bananas. Most of the cows are going bananas. How cheap Ayamaro is. Why they don't fly an aeroplane. This is the other side of African mentality, not understanding things, intellectuality. May the doctors have said the gravity of aeroplane, the fragility of the body of the mother to be will not be sweet water to fly an aeroplane in the state of she is encounter. Not because I am out as a chip. No, it's all about what the doctors advise them now on how to travel so you come and say no i am out is treating uh Rocio as a cabbage no even the bus where they travel you can see the seats are comfortable in space they had that was a, not a normal standard bus from nairobi to mombasa that is very decent bus here is something unique, something that from now on, since I am out of that bell, he signed his marriage and the life partner with Rocio. You say what you have to say, it. you're never going to change nothing from now on. You can lie how much you want to lie. All your lies are going to be empty. They will not have sense. You can come now and protect all these pictures. The baby will be born in Jamaica. The baby will be born in a, to have a strong passport left, right. Doesn't matter. You don't have a say. Only God have a say from now on. How the baby will look. How the baby will call. How things will be is on the ends of God. We just gonna see a real reality show now, a different level of content and a much better content compare all this drama of the mad cows boys of Nyamboanzi.